Hey you guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Uh, my name is Kiera, but I go by Key and pretty much on my channel I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking videos, lots of cooking videos. I'm going to try to get into vlogs pretty soon, like get into them like thoroughly soon here. Just give me time. Again, I'm still learning how to be a YouTuber, so give me grace, give me grace. Um, but I just want to come here. Let y'all see another recipe I like to make. Today I'm making chicken stir fry, but of course vegan. Um, it takes about 30, 45 minutes, but again, don't rush. Because if you rush, that's how you cut yourself. That's how you burn things, etc., etc. Again, I like how I said don't rush because I went to the store before I started filming. And when I got home, I realized that I forgot broccoli. And you can't really have a stir fry without broccoli. Well, I like broccoli in my stir fry, but I'll be missing broccoli today. So let's just pretend that I have broccoli in my stir fry. But again, let's hop right into this video. I don't want to talk your heads off too much, so. So here's everything I'm gonna be using today. We got the Morningstar chicken strips. We got our snap peas, snow peas, snap peas, same difference. We got our mushrooms. I could have just bought a, a mushroom and cut it, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit lazy. So, you know, we got our two bell peppers, we got our brown rice, we got our onion, and of course, we got our carrots. I really wish I had my broccoli, but like I said, we're going to pretend like we got our broccoli. So let's go ahead and cut up our peppers and onions and rinse them as well as rinse off the snow peas and the mushrooms. and onions them thick peppers and onions as y'all can see like they were so thick i couldn't even like slice through it or it could be that i just need a new knife but tomato tomato so before we start sauteing everything all together i'm gonna start making the brown rice in the rice cooker first so let's go do that okay i am not using anything fancy just gonna put one cup of well, maybe two cups of rice in the rice cooker i would struggle with opening this and I usually would use my teeth but I know that's not good for you and plus this is plastic and we don't know who's touching it so yeah literally just one cup all right so that's one I'll probably want it to have okay now I usually get, I prefer my brown rice from Sprouts because Sprouts rice, it gets like really, really soft the way that I like it. And of course I got vegetable broth in my hand. And uh, with Kroger rice, I'm going to put two cups of veggie broth or you can use water or chicken broth, whatever liquid you want to cook your rice. I'm just going to use veggie broth. Um, again, it just tastes better. And I'm gonna let that cook. I hit the brown rice button and that's just gonna do it for me. And I don't gotta worry about it, but I will check it around like the 10, 15 minute mark to see if it's done. And if I need to get it more softer, like the texture that I want, then I will add more broth. All right, so y'all know first things first, gotta have the olive oil. Again, I'm probably gonna put about one tablespoon of olive oil in here. Gonna swirl it around so the pan gets evenly coated. I might put a little bit more in here just because I'm using two bags of the Morning Star veggie chicken strips. Um, and they're frozen, so we're gonna cook these first and let them get thawed, warm, heated thoroughly. 
in. I don't want to put the veggies in just yet because that's just not okay. So I'm going to put those in. I'm going to stir it around. If I can open this. I don't know why I'm having trouble opening things. I don't know if it's because I know I'm recording. But it's just not giving what it's supposed to give today. I don't know. Understand. What is there we go. Going on. Alright. So gonna let those cook for about five, ten minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I actually decided to make my stir fry sauce while the chicken chicken strips are cooking so in order to make this stir fry sauce i just literally found a bunch of recipes on google and i decided to make it my own so i just use them for reference so for my stir fry sauce i'm going to be using i wrote it down i'm sorry so i wrote i'm going to be using one half of cup of veggie broth I'm going to be doing one third a cup of soy sauce or tamari or low sodium, but I use liquid aminos instead of any of that. I'm just going to do one third a cup of that. I'm going to use one fourth cup of water. One second. Uh, I'm going to use one tablespoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil. Um, you can also use toasted sesame oil, but I did not want that toasty flavor, so I'm just going to go with regular sesame oil. Then you need one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes for the spice and flavor, like since I'm really not seasoning anything. So this is where you get that at. And then you also need to make it thicken like a sauce. You need cornstarch. And now look, I am only going to use a half. Actually, I'm going to actually use one tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm just going to hopefully pour this in and it won't do that. So I think that's enough. Like, I think that's enough. I'm going to sell this to the side. I'm going to grab my whisk and we are going to whisk it. Now, again, when I'm ready to pour this in the... When I'm ready to pour this in the mixture with the vegetables and the chicken strips, I'm going to have to whisk it again so I can get that mixed all together and that the cornstarch does not stick to the bottom so i'm mixing it now but i'm gonna have to mix it again so now let's go check the chicken y'all this is what i was looking for like i want the grill burnt cooked marks on it that see now that it's getting cooked thoroughly so i'm gonna just cook for about maybe another two more minutes now i'm gonna take it out and let it sit to the side and then we're gonna cook the vegetables Okay, so the chicken is done and complete. I have it in the microwave. Literally going to put probably a tablespoon of olive oil back in this pan so we can make the vegetables. Now I'm going to put the carrots in first because it takes a little minute for carrots to cook. And here I go. Can't open that one. Got it. I don't know, y'all. I really don't know what's wrong with me today. Alright, so I'm just going to and so I don't want any. I think that's enough, but we'll see. That's enough. Bummer, y'all. My camera died on me in the middle of recording, so I'm now recording from my phone. So sorry if the quality is a little bit off right now. But I still had to record. I had to let y'all see this meal. So we're going to keep on going like nothing happened. Again, obstacles come, jump over it. All right. So now that I am back, um, the carrots have been cooking. I'm literally only, I guess like I'm going to get older. I am adding in the mushrooms at this current moment in time. And then I will add in the onions. Well, the snack peas and the onions, so. Maybe I should invest in another phone. 
so I can have a phone strictly for recording for these reasons, you know? But it's okay. We make we're making it work. We are making it work. We are making it work. And I forgot a mushroom. That's why I'm adding a mushroom in right now. But it's okay. So we have that sauteing. Now the bell peppers are gonna be the last thing I put because it doesn't take bell peppers out on the cook. But for my onions, instead of leaving them together like such, I'm going to peel them apart in the slices that I cut them because I feel like it's gonna make them cook better. And I want it to get cooked thoroughly and I don't want like thick onion bites in my stir fry. That's just a me thing. I know it might be weird some, but tomato tomato. You don't have to do this, but I do it. And I don't know about y'all, but I am starting to get used to the onion, like cutting them. Like I said earlier in the previous videos, onions make me cry. So I try to cut them as fast as I can. And I just try to get out the way because, whew, man, onions are strong. And I don't know if it's still because of the way I cut them, like I cut them like the sides off and you know if you cut the eye of the onion that's what the smell is and you know that's where I get it. Now this is a thick piece. I'm gonna have to break that because who wants all that onion in their mouth? I don't. We got all the onions in here and I'm just gonna let all this cook by itself and then I'll come back in about like five minutes and add in the bell peppers. I'm gonna add in the peppers because color, yes. I'm gonna let this cook, and this did not get cut all the way. This one, there you go. Let this saute and cook. For about another five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna add in the chicken, and then we're gonna add in the sauce. And I have just checked the rice. The rice is done, that's exciting. I did have to add a little bit more of the veggie broth because again, it wasn't done to my liking. Again, however hard, soft you want your rice, make sure you get it to that consistency so you can enjoy your food. Right, so, like I said, go with that cook for about another five, 10 minutes. We'll back, we'll add the chicken, we'll add the sauce, and we're ready to eat. The veggies are about done. We're going to go ahead and add in this chicken, get that mixed. We're going to stir it together. Then I'm going to look at the sauce. We're going to stir that sauce in. Now, y'all, earlier, remember, I told y'all I'm going to have to whisk it again so the corn starts going to stick to the bottom. And that's what I'm doing before I pour it in. So I'm just going to pour it in. All right, so I'm just going to stir this around to make sure that everything it's evenly coated. Y'all, this looks so good. I can't wait for the sauce to get thick so I can eat. Look, look at all that, just flavor. And y'all, I mean, I will definitely drop in the description the recipe to make the, the sauce because I mean, why buy when you can make yourself? Some buy homemade just tastes way better. Okay, now I'm gonna make my bowl. We got the brown rice and it's definitely the good texture I wanted it. Now look, I make everything separate because I didn't want everything to get mixed up together. So I'm just gonna put my rice down at the bottom first. And then I'm gonna go to the stove. I'm gonna get the stir fry. I'm gonna let y'all see. And then I'm gonna eat. I still have the stir fry technically cooking because I want the sauce to get like thicker where it's not as liquidy but it's not even liquidy it's just like you know i guess gel but not gel so i'm just gonna keep that cooking i am gonna scoop up my bowl and put the stir fry mixture on top i don't know why i'm getting two scoops because i am most likely not gonna eat all of this but it's okay because here we go okay y'all it's time for a taste test and this is hot like it's steaming but it's hot, so let's get a pepper, let's get an onion, let's get a mushroom. I'm trying to get everything in one bite. I can't get the snap pea, but it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. I'm telling y'all, homemade, it's way better. I know. I get it. 
sometimes we don't play cooking sometimes we're tired sometimes we honestly just don't want to but if you got that time and you want to know what you exactly put in your body it's better to cook it yourself it really is but i'm about to go enjoy my food if y'all make this come back and let me know what you think if you make any swaps or got any other suggestions for me drop them down hope you have a great rest of your day i'll see you next video